Why didn't Ayyub Islam just ask Allah to remove the hardship? Al Maghrib Institute presents Q&A with Omar Suleiman. It's one of the most perplexing elements of the story of Ayyub Islam is why didn't he just say, Oh Allah, remove this affliction from me? Why would it be admired that he simply asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, for mercy? And um, doesn't even say, Oh Allah, grant me your mercy, he simply alludes to Allah's mercy in saying that you are able uh, to do so. Uh, there are a hadith where the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi talks about people that seek treatment and that uh, seek help. And sometimes it's even made obligatory for us to seek help. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi told us to ask Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala and to, to, seek, uh, to seek the goodness, the bounty of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. And so these things are not necessarily in intention. They're not in conflict. To ask Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala for the removal of hardship is something that's praiseworthy. But Often when you see the story of a prophet, you are to draw from the lesson of it and you are to, you, you are to take from the lesson of it. So the Prophet Sallallahu himself would ask Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Ta'ala for the removal of hardship. And so with Ayyub Alayhi Salaam, it could be that he implied the removal of hardship with his dua and he understood it that way or that there is some lesson to be derived from it. And that's something that inshallah ta'ala we go deep into in the course. However, seeking a cure is not in contradiction with that tawakkul, that trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, nor is it an element of ingratitude. However, a person should always be satisfied with the outcome no matter what, and they should know that cure and benefit and reward is all from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give us the best of this life and the best of, best of the next and to protect us from the punishment of Jahannam. Allahumma ameen. Wa jazakum Allahu khayra.